I'm lucky enough to get to play mother to these two cute little ring-tailed possums. I think Australia has some of the cutest babies in the world. In this next video, Steve traveled to Sumatra where he falls in love with a family of his own. She's got shaggy red hair and she's really cute. She's an orangutan. Hey, Bibi! Your Bibi's up there. like I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with this girl right here in the wilderness of Sumatra. Awesome. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If I look at it for too long, I'm gonna cry. She's so drop-dead gorgeous. Look at her fur. You know, the other thing that I find totally amazing is they smell great. They really have a pleasant smell. Absolutely pleasant. And their fur is just like beautiful red hair. Oh, we're a little bit itchy. And an itchy eye. Mm, that tastes good. Gee, I wish I had something for her, but it's not good. It's not nature's way. Look, the baby's suckling. Thank goodness I shared antenatal classes with Terry before she gave birth. This is great. Wow. She just had a quick suckle exactly the same way as Terry feeding Bindi. How's that? A good little bit of milk. It's very important that a mother gets a great diet so as she can continually make good breast milk. And just like humans, the orangutan breast milk will vary with the conditions of these outside influences. If it's good fruit, good seasons, the milk will actually change and it will produce, say, more liquid. If it's really, really hot and the baby's starting to get dehydrated, of course, mama's milk will change and there'll be a lot more water in it. And when the baby's first born, it has colostrum, which is a high protein mix. Really good for making a good, powerful baby. And it helps build their immune system. So their mammary glands, mammals, just the same as humans. And she's a nursing mother. Hey, baby. Wow, your baby's a bit rough. As with human babies also, babies can get a little rough. You can see on her nipple there, she's got a little bit of a nick, bit of a scar tissue. Holy smokes, you see those teeth. A little bit of scar tissue there. The baby's probably bitten down too hard. I just find this fascinating, the way she just grabs up and brings her baby down right onto her. That's your baby, isn't it, sweetheart? Look at those eyes. Look at those teeth. Wow. They're good teeth, sweetheart. She has got great teeth, and you can see those canines on the side. It's very important that I understand her body posture and her language. It's all right, sweetheart. I better move away. She's getting a little sick of me. We've all seen the maternal instincts of mammals. Well, I'd like to take a journey up into the foothills in the Northwest Pacific region to look at a rattlesnake who's got maternal instincts. They're catching their first rays of sunlight after denning for winter. Now this is really rugged country and we've got some fantastic memories of tracking down wildlife in the most remote parts of North America. And one of the most treasured videos from our baby collection is an encounter with a family of very venomous reptiles. Pacific or the 
Prairie Rattler. Here's a mother and at least two of her babies curled up here in the sun, getting the early morning sun. This is what we're here for. This is it. Now, breeding biology of rattlesnakes, we're only just starting to understand it. Here's a classic example. We've got like a little family unit. We've got a large adult female. She's a little bit scared. She's just giving birth to these little babies. And look at them. They're going to bite me too, the little devils. But she's sitting there and she's guarding them against predators. You know, little mammals or reptiles or other animals that might uh, eat them. She'll sit there and she'll guard them. What a great job she's doing. Really good. She's not agitated. She's not scared by me. The little ones are rattling at me. They don't like me. Understandable. When you're a little baby rattlesnake, you're edible by a lot of different species. They're fantastic animals. Now, hear that little rattle? Little rattle here. Have a look at this one here. This would be a baby from last year. Fascinating with the biology, the breeding biology of the rattlesnake is that these youngsters will actually follow the trail of the adult back to these den sites. Unbelievable to think a little snake like that would have the innate, the instincts to be able to track its mum or its dad or another adult back to a den site. Have a look at this little tapper up here. He's quite annoyed with me. I have a lot of trouble with little rattlers. They're very hard to get hold of because they're biting little devils. I'll just put him back down with his mum. There's your mum there. Because I'd hate to disturb the perfect rattler family unit. These prairie or Pacific rattlesnakes, they're actually Crotalus viridis. And they've got a lot of different subspecies and they range, they've got the greatest range of all rattlers. They go from Canada all the way down through the US into Mexico. Now they used to be considered the most prolific rattlers in the entire world. If you can imagine, this species dens in their hundreds. And they believe they may have even denned in their thousands. Of course, those days are long gone. Those dens have been annihilated. Now we've got dens like this one, which may support 50 or 60 rattlers. Maybe a big den would have 100. They're a beautiful rattlesnake. I find them very, very quiet. How's those fangs? Look at this, look at this. Look at this. This is probably the first patch of sun that she's had since winter, right? So she's stretching her jaws out, she's aligning her head. She's getting ready. She, when it warms up, this species will start to disperse from the den site and they'll actually go hunting out into the other rock formations, out onto the plains, into the prairies. And I tell you what, she's that is the most amazing natural history you'll see. Getting her jaw all lined up after a big sleep, a big hibernation through winter. Look how quiet they are. Look, they're not even rattling at me. They don't give a rip. Here she goes, look at this. Check those fangs out. Have a look at this, watch this. But these little blokes are like little puppy dogs. They haven't got an aggressive bone in their body. Look at this, free handle rattlesnakes. Of course, never ever try this. I'm a professional, I've done a lot of rattler work and uh, I understand them completely. No one should ever touch a rattlesnake. Now, I don't want to disturb this perfect little family unit. I'll just leave them here in the sun. <laughs>